Welcome to my shop in North Mississippi. Today I'd like to talk to y'all about three phase machinery and generating your own third phase. Uh, many of y'all backyard mechanics or tinkers or whatever you want to call yourselves uh, often find the need for some machinery such as a milling machine or a lathe or even a bandsaw. Well this um, machinery often comes at a cheap price because it can be bought from uh, industries for little to nothing but as many of y'all are aware of it comes with the stipulation that these motors well, I wouldn't even call it a stipulation, but most of the time your motors are going to be three phase. And that will not show up on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But, you're rest assured, these motors are three phase. Many of y'all, of course, know a couple of ways to correct this problem. One, a real obvious solution, would be to replace your motors with uh, single phase 220 motors or 110 motors if it's big enough yeah that would work fine but it's a lot of work and um, you know you've got one motor for one machine you know if you've got three or four machines like I do uh, which I'm sure many of y'all have way more than that um, that's just not, a, it doesn't come out to be a very efficient way to run your old machines. Another way, of course, I'm sure many of y'all are aware of, is the static phase converter. It basically allows your three phase motors to run off of 220 by introducing a high voltage startup current to the third leg of the motor during startup. And then I think, too, it'll pull in the capacitors again to amp up your third leg if uh, if your motor starts bogging down or something. And yeah, it works pretty good, too. That can be pretty expensive, and it's not a true three-phase power source. And um, the last way I know of, and well, last way that I'm know much about anyway is uh, an old school way to do it people have been generating uh, the third phase themselves using this method for years and it is over here on the wall it's called a rotary phase converter you can actually buy these uh, pre-made for pretty ex for a <laughs> rather large chunk of change uh, however they're made pretty easily basically a rotary phase converter consists of a um, single phase power source such as 220 from the box and some startup capacitors well you don't even have to have those as I'll tell you in a minute and um, a three phase induction motor. I believe you call them star wound or Y wound. But anyway, basically, you start off building just a simple little static converter by wiring 220 from the power company straight into the motor. And then the third leg of the motor, you tie in. Um, some capacitors into it and I'll show a diagram at the end of this video um, so you can see how I did it to uh, amp up the voltage in your third leg to get the motor started. You can also get this motor to start spinning mechanically too with a pull rope or another single phase motor or something of that nature. Basically the principle, from the way I understand it, the way this works, 
once this motor is spinning, uh, the momentum allows it to run off of just two of its three legs. Kind of like a motor running off of seven of its eight cylinders. And since these motors, these uh, YWAM motors, um, are, can also be generators if power is applied to them, because your motor is spinning off single phase, uh, you will be generating a third phase coming out of the motor. And then of course, this third phase you use to power the machi machines in your shop.